Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is information architecture, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content records, and business processes. This module is part of the Architecture and Systems Knowledge domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll discuss what goes into conducting a content and metadata audit, including stakeholders, organizational structure, information flows, and applicable policies. A big part of developing or improving an information architecture is understanding the breadth and depth of the organization's existing content and metadata. This helps to determine the size and scope of the effort and is achieved by conducting an audit of the current state. Any audit worth its salt will touch all stakeholder communities associated with the solution. These are people who have a valid interest in the process, whether or not they're affected directly by it or even work for the organization itself. Stakeholders may include the likes of senior management, business unit managers, legal staff, records managers, IT personnel, end users, business partners, investors, and the list goes on. Identifying who these stakeholders are frequently involves a study of the organizational chart, from which much often can be derived about the kinds of content that may be in play. For example, departments called finance or payables and executives like CFO clearly will deal in lots of financial data and information about suppliers, clients, and perhaps investors. So even a quick review can provide pointers in the right direction. Charting how information flows throughout the organization is also important in order to guard against the development of bottlenecks or extraneous flows and to facilitate improvements in efficiency that might be highlighted by using the content and its metadata as navigational aids. Take, for example, a sales manager's end of quarter report. Working with her team, she consolidates her group's results and forecasts into a single document and sends it to her boss who then consolidates it with his other financials to pass further upstairs. At each stage, content is added or amended, and metadata about who did what, when, and what content was involved can be instrumental in determining new ways to stage, process, and track information going forward. Policies are yet another source of insight into how information is or should be architected, because they generally address how that information is supposed to be used. Records managers are prime candidates for research in this regard because many information policies begin and end with them. Understanding what the rules are makes it more clear when they aren't followed, and it's easier to identify the types of information that may be more prone to misuse and under what circumstances. This in turn enables the embedding of appropriate governance safeguards into any new architecture. This module has discussed what goes into conducting a content and metadata audit, including stakeholders, organizational structure, information flows, and applicable policies. Having completed it, you may next wish to review the module on best practices for website navigation. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org certification. Thank you.